it's always, sometimes I get the opportunity to introduce the Sikhim and it's always a big schos because every one of the Talmidim is so special to us. But um, this time it's really very emotional also as a father to introduce my son Abba. And it's a tremendous chos to have, to be able to teach your own son. And it's something that I always wanted to do. And I also, my father's here. And I was zeichet to be a student in his class. My mother's here. She taught me when I grew up. We grew up in Phoenix. I grew up the first few years of my elementary school was in Phoenix, Arizona. And the only mora in the school, or one of the only moras in the school is my mother. So I had her for kindergarten and first grade. So my Alephase, Mora, and my father was one of the only Rebbeim in the school, and he taught me second and third grade. And then we came to Cleveland for fourth grade, and guess who my Rebbe was? My father was my Rebbe for fourth grade. So I basically had my parents teach me for the first number of years of my life, and, it's, and I knew that it would be something special to be able to teach my children, and I was, Baruch Hashem, able to do that. This year we had two, I have a son in the ninth grade, Yehuda, and was saying so beautifully, of course, was so proud of his learning and his singing. And Abba, who's been with us for four years, and over those four years, I was able to teach him in ninth grade. And then throughout, learning before chakras at times, different kufas, different things we were able to do, and just to be able to watch how he started and how he grew. ...and understands this. And the one who Hashem speaks to, the Agedon, will be able to tell it. Alma of the Oretz, for what reason, did the, did, the, did the land get destroyed? Did the Corbin happen? The Gemara explains the Pasuk. This thing, the reason why there was a Corbin, the Chachamim said, and they couldn't explain it. The Nevi'im said, the people who Hashem spoke to said, and they couldn't explain it. Until HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself explained it. Shanama, like the Pasuk says, Hashem, Hashem says, Al it's because of the abandoning of my Tayro, Hashem which I gave in front of them. Um, Rabbi Yehuda, um, Rav, Rabbi Yehuda explained the name of Rav, Shaloi Baruch Hu What it means is that they didn't, they didn't make a Berchaz Tayro before they learned. Sometimes it's a deeper by saying I'm thirsty, and sometimes it's a tzivoy that goes further and says, you should get me a drink. You might should go get me a drink. So Rabbi says that there's three madrigas in, in, in how the Ebershti gives over to us. And he brings down a pasuk in Yermia. It's talking about bringing bombas for Baal, for the Avodah Zarah Baal. <coughs> And it says, Vilay Tsivisi, Vilay Dibarti, Vilay Osa Alibi. I didn't command you, and I didn't speak to you, Vilay Osa Alibi. And it wasn't Ayla Alibi. And this idea of what the Ratzan Abayri is, and what the Abishta wants, is something that's not always codified, it's not always written down, not always does the Abishta. Tell us exactly what the tzivu is. It's my responsibility to do it as well. I would like to acknowledge the unsung heroes of the General Studies Department. For the past year and a half, COVID has caused us numerous challenges. I'll bite every excuse due to corona and so on and so forth. They believed in the undertakings of the yeshiva and therefore dedicated themselves to it. So a big thank you to, although not everyone is present, I'm still going to mention their names. Mr. Bine, Mr. Bratsky, 
We really appreciate your daily support and commitment. About 15 years ago, I had the opportunity to go on a tour of Eastern Europe. While there, I went to many of the old yeshivas and shuls, the Kibbutz Tzadikim, and Katsin. As I'll say, in the Vitomis Gamas, Elo Misha, Mimis Atzmu Allah, one can only be Kona Torah if he, so to speak, kills himself over it. There's a problem with the Makor of this Russia. Usually, when Chazal Darsh and Apazuk, Pazak has a connection to the Pshut Shal Mikra. What is the connection here? Psukim are discussing Paraduma Tumas Mis. What does Amilas Petorah have to do with that? We know that the Paraduma is a chok, a mitzvah we don't understand. The Torah itself says, Zos Chukas HaTorah. Mepharshim point out, though, that the Pazak calls it Chukas HaTorah, and not Chukas HaTomar, Chukas HaTara. is to tell us, in the Paraduma, we can see that the whole Torah is a chok, beyond human comprehension. Even the mitzvahs we see some logic in, in reality we are very limited in our understanding. There is a depth that is always beyond us. This is illustrated in a medrash by Shlomo Melech. Shlomo Melech says in Kohelis, 